In this video, we'll see how to configure the DevExtreme Polar Chart widget. This widget displays data in the Polar Coordinate system. By using Polar Coordinates, you can display values as points, each displayed in a corresponding sector and having a radius proportional to the value itself. If you have multiple series, this widget allows end users to compare values by viewing the resulting polygons. I've already created a simple web page and added references to the following libraries, jQuery, Globalize, and Chart.js. Like any widget from the DevExtreme library, the Polar Chart widget can be added using the jQuery, AngularJS, or Knockout approach. Here, I'm using the jQuery approach. First, we need to set a data source for the Polar Chart. I prepared an array of objects defining a wind rose in Madrid in October 2014. Let's assign it to the chart's data source configuration option. Now let's define a series. I set the direction data source field as a field that provides arguments for the series and the day and night fields as the fields that provide values for the day and night series. Let's see how the chart looks with the specified data. As you can see, the scatter series type is used by default. We can easily change the series type to line by specifying the series type option. In addition, I'll give names to the series. And let's see the result. Let's shift the first argument north to the start angle of the chart. As you can see, north is located directly to the north now. Let's now shift argument axis grid lines so that the chart points are displayed on them, but not between them. I'll set the discrete axis division mode option to cross labels. The DX Polar Chart widget comes with some other series types, area, bar, and stacked bar. I'll try them in case they fit better. Let's set back the line series type. It's the most convenient type for our wind rows. Now let's define constant lines for the chart's value axis to display how many days and nights there was a calm in the air. For this purpose, I specify the constant lines option of the value axis configuration object. And you can see the result. Finally, let's set the chart title. I'll use the title option to do this. And that's it. To learn more about the series, ways of customizing them, and other chart elements, please refer to the Polar Chart documentation located on our website. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.